Hello everyone, and welcome to this simple changelog video in which I will show you everything that has changed from version 1.1 .1 to version 1.2 of Atmos Mobs. Um, version 1.2 will go pre-release soon, which will be for 1.2.5 Minecraft. Um, this is because um, I want to work on new stuff, but I still want to have a backup of the old files. And I have to wait until Forge uh, is updated before I can go 1.3.1. And this might actually take quite a while because um, I won't be at home as much as I was before. So um, I might not be able to work in the mods as uh, much as I did before. So the update might be quite far away. So I want to update um, this mod to version 1.2 for Minecraft 1.2.5 soon. So here we'll, I will commence with the change log now. First of all, I added the cave worm mob, which dig holes in caves through dirt, gravel and stone. They add a nice little atmosphere to the caves and are non-hostile. Their griefing ability can be enabled and disabled in the uh, config file, which comes with the mod itself. They currently drop bones and have no other functions but to add a nice little atmosphere. It went. Squirrels now also climb into extra biomes with cell trees. They previously would get stuck near the leaves but now it's compatible. It went. Climbing mobs now don't climb higher than one block to prevent them climbing onto mountains. Previously these rabbits would just climb up and get out, but now they can't. Chain spawning, which is the spawning of multiple mobs with another mob, has been removed for the swordfish and crab. Crows are somewhat bigger now. and. Tame birds that are following don't push the player, as they did before. Also, when a player goes through a 2x1 doorway, tame mobs that are on the player's head will not suffocate. Moles now have a normal sized shadow and don't no clip through box anymore. Or at least they don't hurt themselves on no clipping through the blocks. Normally you would find them all and when it goes through blocks like planks it would suffocate and die but this has been fixed. Anglers now spawn way less wisps with them than before to prevent major lag spikes. The mushroom spawn rate or plant rate of the dodos has been reduced dramatically. Although it has dropped one here. <laughs> the model for the firefly has com been completely redone. Previously it was only a dot, but now it's extra bug with a nice colored back that still emits or just lits up in the night sky. The movement of butterflies and moths around their attraction object, for butterflies this is a flower, for moths this is a torch or glowstone or lit pumpkin, move more, they move more lively now, so they don't get stuck out of one place. The random spawning of starfish on land should be fixed. Bats now have a way smaller radius of attack than before meaning that you can actually sneak past them instead of being hit all the time. Also, when the light is, when they are outside of the light, they will randomly go back to sleep, which they didn't before. Squirrels no longer drown themselves. Previously, they were not able to swim and kept sitting near the bottom of the water and then drowning. As you see, they don't do that size of butterflies, dragonflies and moths have been decreased 
to make them look more insecty or small. <laughs> Bugs will also not trigger step sounds anymore, which they did before. It's not the bugs, it's the stupid chickens. Believe me, you don't. <laughs> and I added the salamander mob, which will spawn in the nether. They will move their tongue like that and just be awesome in the nether. When killed, they will drop salamander slimes when you get the area. Which is a new item, which I will explain in a second. Salamander slimes can be used as an alternative for the normal slime balls. They are also used in a recipe of my mod, which I will show later. As you can see, we have a salamander slime here. We put some blaze powder down, get back my green. We can put a salamander slime here and a piston, and we get a sticky piston, just like with normal slime balls. I also added the Phoenix mod, which is a bird mod that spawns in the net. Killed, they have a very low chance of actually dropping the Phoenix Feather item, which I will explain in a second. They emit fire particles and their wings also light up in the dark, so you can see them far afar. Lava Snakes are a new mob that populates the lava seas of the Minecraft Nether. They can be tamed which I will show in a second, using 46 Roman Flesh. When tamed, the player can right-click it to mount it. However, when it goes off, it will fall into the lava and burn to death. What can be done about that is you grab a salamander slime and use it on your lava snake. Until logout, you will get a um, fire resistance aura when near your lava snake. This will prevent you from dying when dismounting your lava snake. Lava snakes also drop a special item. If you tame them and give them a salamander slime, you could actually just go around them and try to obtain their drop. However, it would be easier to just get some fire resistance potions and try to obtain the drop as quick as possible. What you do, you go near it, kill it, and it will drop its item somewhat above the lava so it will not immediately uh, burn. But it is still hard to obtain. Go near it. There you see, it burned for me. You must be very lucky to obtain it. But it is used for a very powerful item, which I will show in a second. Here you have the flame rod, which will drop. When you have obtained four phoenix feathers through killing many, many phoenix uh, birds and obtained three flame rods through being very lucky with killing the lava snakes, you are able to make a very powerful item. The Phoenix Wings. Phoenix Wings is a new item which can be right clicked to mount and give the player wings. The moves are the same, you will just float around when pressed space you will go up slightly and when you hold space you will go up even further. There is no limit to it. It will emit fire particles because it's made of flames. When near the ceiling, you will go out of F5 mode, but not no clip, as it did before. You can see it still be a little bit of a problem, just don't go too much near the ceiling to prevent all no clipping actions. When you no clip, just um, stop moving and you will be teleported out of the wall. This has been a lot of work for me, <laughs> actually, and a lot of problems. But it's as stable as can be. While you have the wings, you can still remove blocks, kill enemies, and all those things. You can just go up to a ghost and kill it using this. Another function that the flame rod has 
is if you happen to have a lot of them, which is <laughs> almost impossible actually because they're quite hard to get, but if you don't need one, you can just convert it into 8 redstone. Another new item has been added to give the uh, new items that all the new items that I added just a little bit more use. You grab a flame rod, a flint, and a salamander slime to make a spear of fire. A spear of fire sets almost on fire, at least the ones that are in fire resistance. And it's pretty powerful. It has the um, when hit. It does the same amount of damage as stone, so that's not the powerful attack. But the fire damage is enough to kill most mobs. And it emits a little bit of um, lava particles when you hit a mob, as you see. And I got a rare drop there, that's awesome. Um, they have a durability of iron, meaning that you can use them a while. Okay, apart from those changes, there are still some other changes, but you just can't see them in-game. I will tell you them right now. Item ideas of items can now be changed in the config file like before. So that helps uh, people that want to mod their game but have some incompatibilities with other mods to even install my mod with those incompatibilities. I tweaked some of the spawn rates because there was some uh, lag issues before but with tweaking the spawn rates it should be uh, a little bit more FPS for you. A lot of no-clip bugs have been fixed. Too much to actually tell you. <laughs> Before you had to install a entity um, chameleon tamed, which was a uh, separate entity, but now it has been integrated into the actual chameleon uh, entity. So, yay! There were also a lot of model issues, which I fixed. So that's actually all for today. Um, I hope you guys learn something from it. It will be going pre-release very soon. Um, as far as I know, uh, the amount of glitches is not that big. The amount of bugs. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys next time.